Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have an, uh, an old multimeter and it is from the USSR. And uh, last time I showed you the oscilloscope that also came from the USSR. And if you took a close look, you already saw it in the background. But uh, I didn't think too many people uh, had spotted. And uh, I'm just going to check if it's working. And... Uh, Maybe we can find out from uh, what year it is, and uh, yeah, just uh, have a closer look. So if we have a closer look, it is a nice uh, analog one. Uh, it is, it is re reasonable big, even for old size. See if you have here the fluke. Well, of course, uh, it's from Bakelite. That is uh, what I did uh, with most of it. Oh, we even have a model number here. It is the U4315. Probably uh, pronounced different. And it seems it can even do caps. And if you do resistance above a certain level, you need to add voltage because probably the current source cannot uh, handle that. And uh, yeah, it is, an, it is a scale that you are probably used to with analog meters. The only thing is, it is here two and a half, five, ten. So the two and a half is okay. That is uh, like a double, and the ten is double. But it is still, I tried a little bit, and I, I will show you it's. Uh, not necessarily always very clear, but of course for the for the five it's clearer, for the ten it's clear, but for the two and a half sometimes, yeah. Well, look at this meter. It is uh, very robust. It seems all very good, and it being from the seventies, yeah. That uh, there is only a little hole here. But the, maybe there was a, an, an, an holder or something because the hole is exactly here and here. Okay, it's a pity. The, this is still fully readable, and uh, I wonder what type of uh, battery is inside. So let's have a look. Why oh, it opens by uh, unscrewing the three screws in the back. And yeah, the plate really looks very nice. And here we have a little protection. And here yeah, there is a battery, but it seems this is already a, an adapter of some sort. Because if we take it out, these are just the normal double AA batteries. And apparently there was a huge battery normally in there and it needs 3.7 to 4.7 volts and uh, but with this uh, little adapter uh, yeah you can just put uh, EK or Duracell I see <laughs> yeah maybe we can carefully open it oh it just had uh, four screws in the holes here A regular flathead and ooh. <laughs> pick up two diets, probably to make from the ACDC. Yeah, big meter. Look at this. Then here we have the switch with, I don't know what is this, these are coils I think, maybe it's for the, also for the AC. A lot of resistors that are cooled. If 
if one of the wires of the batteries breaks, I probably have no clue where to put it back. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the backlight is still uh, good. Nice. Let's try if it works. Okay, if we have a look how it works, I can just get my uh, voltage reference and we put it in the DC. Um, let's do uh, 10 volts because this one is 10 volt max. So this is two and a half volts. And this is what I meant because now if you need to read to a read to a half out of 10, yeah, it is one. The 10 is 10 and then 125. So that is not that easy to read. But if you put it, of course, in a five scale, then it starts to make sense. And this is the two and a half. So that's good. We go to 10 volts. So if you have now five volt, it goes here to two and a half or the full scale here. Seven and a half and 10 volts. So it does work <laughs> and not bad at all. And on the 25 scale, yeah, this is harder to read now. The, 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 the 2.5, 2.5, they are difficult to read, at least for me. Because now you need to know it is 10, because this is 25, and then it's 20 divided by 2. It is, yeah. But it's all very nice, it still works. And I uh, found out it is from the early 70s. So that is nice. Let's see. I want to put my current. It can do maximum 10. So let's go to 25. Let's see what it does. No, it does 10. Let's go to 5. Full scale, very nice. 25 scale, how high can we go? 10. Yeah, it can do 20, yes. And it goes to 40. Very nice. That also works. Okay, and then also we have the ohms uh, setting. Then you need to push the middle button for the ohms and then it works like this. So that is zero ohm and then resistance goes down. But when you start using the K, then you need to push both the buttons. Huh. Like this. And then it starts working the other way around. So now we have 1k, 10k, 100k, and then uh, well, that's probably not working. And then you can see it starts working the other way around. <laughs> that's funny. And somehow you can also do your caps, but I, I didn't get that how that works. So I will find out uh, another time. Okay, for the resistance, um, I, I like to do a better test. But uh, again, I'm surprised now. This, this meter being from the 70s, this uh, quality from the USSR, just like the oscilloscope after so many years, it, uh, it looks amazing. Or I was just really lucky with, uh, with the state of this one. But uh, yeah, it still looks so good. It's just amazing.
Okay, I think I figured it out. If you put it in the K, in the normal ohms, then now it's zero, and now I do one K, it goes here. Oh, this is 100. One K goes here. 100. 100. 200. 300. 400. 500 ohms. And then we go to the 1K. 2, 3, and then of course it gets less readable. 5K, and then almost to 10. But if you need more than 1K, then you need to go to the multiplier with the 2 buttons. My switch is not working. Anyhow. Okay, now it's in the 10k scale, so 1, 2, 3, So that was uh, very quick. The, the ohms uh, scale is still very confusing for me. And also I had the problems with my decade. So I didn't really find that out, but I did just the standard, uh, uh, the standard ohm setting worked, but with, uh, with the kilo ohms, with the multipliers, I, I, I really didn't get what I should need to supposed to read. So maybe uh, yeah, no, I just didn't get it. I need to look further. Maybe I find the manual uh, once. But uh, I just wanted to show you because uh, again, this uh, yeah USSR stuff, it's uh, well preserved and I uh, was really surprised. So I hope you enjoyed anyway, even though the test was a little bit uh, messy. And uh, in the future, I, I would like to show you some more of, uh, of classic meters. I have a few more. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for watching for now and I uh, hope to see you next time.